the thing that keeps going through my mind is when did we prioritize the dog again? Um, the dog came along in, he was picked up in April. Um, and the dog, the dog had a lot of expenses at the very beginning. Um, a lot, lot. Daycare, a lot, a lot. Um, daycare, buying him things he absolutely did not need. Um, I mean, <laughs> they, 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 they've all been tightened up and he does not, he no longer goes to daycare. Um, he doesn't have a dog walker. I do that myself because I can. Um, but before it was like, oh, the money's there. I can just, I can just spend it on it versus I can invest that into somewhere else or pay that credit card off quicker. Um, so Steve's lifestyle has been a bit, has, it's been reduced a little. I don't think it's been reduced. I'd say <laughs> yeah, it's better that you walk the dog than uh, than the the puppy daycare people. But it's amazing, like and I, you know, not to get into the numbers or anything, but how how much money it's easy for that lifestyle creep to just keep uh, creep in, you know. I, and I see it with the with a heap of our clients that you've got the dog walker and the things, and you just go, oh, that's a good idea. Actually, yeah, I'm I'm a bit frustrated because I can't quite make the time for that, and then. You outsource, and outsourcing is great. And I'm, I'm all about working in your genius zone and and, <laughs> and um, you know getting rid of the lower value tasks. But you've just got to make sure that that happens in a way that's sequential with you know what's going on with your money. Because you sort of mentioned a, a little bit already, but the good money management is really just the perfect prioritization between you know making sure that you're having a, the. And we were just chatting a little bit offline before we we fired up the recording, but. What's the, um, you know, ideally you want to spend as much money as you possibly can now, but you want to do that in a way where you know that you're still hitting your money milestones to achieve the things that you want in the future and not to feel like you're stuck in the rat race or on the hook for 